What is up vlog family? It's Gabby. I'm here. More vlogs for you. I have been gone for way too long. I've missed you and it's like the summer now but uh just want to let you guys know that I'm here and I want to make more videos for you and I've been killing it on the Instagram lately and it's motivated me to make more videos for you. But I'm here at the garage and I have a new project I've been working on all summer and I'm so excited to show you guys. It should have been already up and running, but you know, life happens. It's this close to being like, just being able to be turned over. So let's go ahead and check it out. Also, before I forget, I'm really good at forgetting things like this. I, they're in my car, so I just wanna show you now. I have made stickers. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> I made stickers, like I had someone made artwork, I had these made, this is like something that I have made for you guys. Uh, I am selling them right now. If you're interested, just message me, find me on Instagram or anything like that. But I'm very excited about that. You know, it's just nice to like have something that I made that I'm able to like share with you. So go ahead and check those out also. <laughs> Also, I have been thoroughly obsessed. I had just recently restored my headlights and look at how amazing they are. I'll have some like before and after pictures put up like here, but they're so clean. They're so clear. They're so fabulous. Oh, garage, how I've missed you. Well, here it is on jack stands. This is the project I bought back in January. <laughs> I know. The uh, engine rebuilt, bored out, ready to go. I rebuilt the transmission. I rebuilt the carburetors, has some racing seats, has a racing steering wheel, uh, has a bunch of stuff already done to it. The suspension's already done. I need to probably rebuild the struts that are on it. It has Coney Yellows, uh, Eibach or Eibach adjustable sleeves with springs on it, sway bar, has a Mugen LSD, transmissions rebuilt, engines ready to go, all of this awesome stuff that I'm just so excited to get it running. Uh, we're like this close. So under the hood, you can see I've already done a few things. We painted the valve cover. Uh, this is the Mikuni PHH dual carb setup that it has. I went ahead and already rebuilt that. I just got a new distributor. Uh, I have to plug in like the rest of the wiring harness and the hoses and then put fluid in and it should be ready to turn over. I'm kind of stuck with the wiring harness. Never worked with a carb model before but I just am like this close. I just need a little bit of help. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm so excited to get it running. I just put like the carbs in there yesterday. They aren't bolted in or anything but it looks really nice. It's pretty clean in there. You should have seen when I got it. It was a filthy little car when I got it. Like just nasty. <laughs> so for today, I do plan on just doing some simple short and sweet stuff for the first vlog back, like putting in the drive shaft, uh, possibly just getting the header on and getting the carburetors hooked up also. Let's go ahead and get started. Please excuse my sweat. It's very hot. It's uh, humid here on the East Coast in Virginia and it's like 95 degrees right now. So I'll be a little sweaty. <laughs> So this is the workspace that I have right now to do my passenger side axle. Uh, luckily I'm little, so we'll make it work. Well, uh, this might be a little difficult, but wish me luck. In the space. Yo, I got some like leaves in here. Ew. Well, I get my castanet off. show you if you can see you see that oh no don't focus on the wheel there we are focus there we are you see that it's my tie rod end it's uh leaking the boot probably gonna need a 
replace that guy probably next. Ow! Stupid lotus. All right. There we go, that's better. So I got my broken tie rod out. Got my lower ball joint out. This, all right, this I'm confused. This is like the end of an axle that's just in the knuckle. If you guys have ever seen this before, let me know. I'm very confused at what it is. But now, my knuckle is free to move so I could easily get this axle in. Right in this deep, dark, scary hole. Right there. Obviously the axle will go under that cord. That would be awful if, it, uh, if I messed that up. <laughs> Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. There we are. Oh, come on. Oh, ow! Ow, my little finger! Ow. All right, see, look. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. Have you ever seen something like that before? Just chilling in a hub. I haven't. Okay, here's the, the axle. So, plan is, put this in, knuckle side first, and kind of use that to ram it in. Or at least get it in, since I'm in such a small, confined space. This light is really bright, but at least you can see me. Also, I'm wearing a hat because I get really bad deadhead and the humidity doesn't help, so sorry. So a little bit of an update, I am dirty, obviously, and sweaty, and it is raining now. Focus, it is raining now. The Subaru is not happy about it. That's all right, that's what we do on the East Coast. I went ahead and I got the axle in on this poopy. I don't exactly have time to do anything else today on it, just cause I have to clean myself up and get to work today, but uh, yeah. I got an excellent. Got a little bit more done each day. Project will be done soon, right? It's literally like storming. Thunderstorming. Hey! I'm trying to vlog. Calm down there. Jeez. Dirty. Dirty. Give me a comment, show us some love, and I'll see you guys in the next one.